2017 truly shaping up to be a record year. 70 record closing highs so far for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. That it breaks 1995's record of 69, and there may be more to come. Welcome, I'm Brian Sullivan, Rich Ross, Evercore ISI, Kevin Caron with Washington Crossing Advisors. Kevin, as a fund manager, I'm, I'm sure you're happy. Your clients are happy. Are you expecting more of the same for next year? Well, we're going to start. I, we think we're going to start off with a good tailwind behind us. So, at least in the early going, we are we're more bullish coming into the year. But we do have one concern, which is valuations. We've had a big move. So. Uh, the data to us looks great. We have to look hard to find a kink in the data. So we're going to stay with our bullish call heading into 2018, but we're worried about valuations. Now, how, how worried are you? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being totally terrified, <laughs> under the desk, sucking your thumb, 1 being not worried at all. Where would you stand on the yeah. valuation issue, Kevin? Yeah, yeah I, guess, I guess a 7. A 7? When you, when you get to seven. 9, and, and we, we can't even see you in the shot because you're <laughs> under the desk, Give us a call back. We are watching valuations. 19 you times, I think, forward earnings for the S&P 500. Yeah. Rich Ross, when you look at the charts, you strip out the emotion. Is there any sign of, of this slowing down at all? Actually, Brian, I think next year these gains can accelerate. I am extremely bullish as we go into 2018. I'll show you the short-term and longer-term case. First, in the short term, we think there's year-end upside to 2735 on the S&P 500. Admittedly, we've been in a very strong trending phase of the markets here, and that continues into year-end. We could see volatility pick up as we turn the page here to consolidate this feverish surge that we've seen of late. But importantly, Brian, when we zoom out and look longer term at the markets, the backdrop is compelling. You referenced 1995 earlier, which is a great place to start. Did you know that on the week Weekly RSI, this is the most overbought the S&P has been since 1995. So that sounds somewhat ominous. But in fact, Brian, what happened after 1995? The market surged. The S&P had another 150 percent plus upside going into 2000. So you had another four years of runway and some fantastic triple digit gains still when you saw those overbought conditions. Big 13 year base of support from which we have emerged in a very bullish fashion. Breath is expanding, momentum is strong, and you're getting growth and value working together, foreign and domestic, big and small banks and technology and industrials. It's very bullish, Brian, and I would be a buyer into the new year and expect upside to potentially 3,200 on the S&P next year. Fair enough, but unless we get subsequent earnings jump as well, Kevin may be right because we're going to see valuations go up and up and up. He's already at seven, so we're watching valuations along with hopefully the E will, will go up as well, not just the P. Rich Ross, Kevin Caron, thank you guys very much. Folks, thank you as always for tuning into Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.